Google has updated Notebook LM with some insane new features. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to access them, how they work, and how they're useful. We're on Notebook LM, and first of all, we have something called Featured Notebooks. So we can actually see notebooks that are trending that they wanna feature. So for example, we have William Shakespeare, or quarter one earning report or parenting advice for the digital age. So we can actually click one of these or the world ahead of 2025. And we can actually see all the different sources that they have included in this notebook. And there is a lot. And if you're not familiar with Notebook LM, on the left, you have sources, and this can be like videos, documents, PDFs, just text. In the center, we have a chat that we can talk to. And then on the right, we have a studio. And the studio has been upgraded it has all sorts of brand new features. The big one is here, it is audio overviews, but with video. So let me show you what that looks like. This is the world ahead and we can hit play. We make our way through 2025. It's turning out to be a year just full of head on into a mess. So I'm just gonna kind of like pan through and you'll get an idea, but it is the podcast overview that people went crazy over, but now in video form. And you can see like they highlight quotes, is they're adding in text, it's bullet point, imagine like a slide, but with audio overview incorporated. If we come back to the homepage of Notebook LM, we're gonna go to my notebooks. We're going to pick one of my notebooks here, and I'm gonna pick my YouTube notebook. This is just one I did in a demo prior where I just put a bunch of random videos in, and this is just my videos. And on the right here, we can have audio overviews, video overviews, and we can create a video overview based off all the videos that I have included. What is cool is, is if we uncheck check them, we can check off only the ones we want to make our video overview. We can also hit these three dots, we can hit customize, and now we can say things that we want to include in our video overview. We can guide it, we can say talk about this, or the audience is really interested in that, and we can decide exactly what the audience will be. We can decide exactly what our video overview will look like based off the videos that we toggled. We can now do the same thing with audio overview, so we can actually hit customize and we can put in exactly what we want. So we can say, hey, do we want it to be shorter or maybe longer? And then we can put things in to customize our audio overview. We can do mind maps and I have a video on mind maps and they also have all these new report options. So like a briefing doc or study guide, or maybe you want an FAQ. So if we hit FAQ, it will start generating. So I'm just gonna move myself out of the way and you can actually see all these things that are generating on the right. And you can see the things that are already generated. So here is the mind map, for example, based off our video and you can see all the different things. We can talk to the mind map. We can go back to the homepage of studio and we can see a audio, the audio where it plays, or we can hit interactive and we can start jumping in talking to our audio overview and directing the conversation. We can go back to studio and we can see the video that's generating. We can see this one here, which is our note that we are generating. I think this update is really important because it is just basically the notebook LM that everyone knows and loves, just polished and cleaned up with new features. You can also click share and you can share this out with other people, which means you can create a notebook and then share it out with other people to gather and look at all the information and talk to your notebook, or you can share it out and collaborate with them so they can add stuff to your notebook. You share your notebook out, there is also analytics. So you can see exactly how many people are using your notebook, what the playback is, how people are utilizing it. You can also click here to add a note. So we can add a note about something that we want to do with our notebook. So I think the whole studio tab on the right with all the different things that you can generate and you can see a scrolling list of all the generations is really cool. On the left, we have all our sources and the middle, we still have our classic chat. It's important to note that video overviews only currently work in English. And as you can see, it does take some time to generate these video overviews, but nonetheless, they are really cool. As you can see, this one's done here, so we can hit play and we can see what is generated. All right, welcome to our latest explainer. Today, we're taking a tour through some of Google's new AI tools. And honestly, they are pretty mind-blowing. They are, they are mind-blowing. So they made a video based off all my videos and it did like a whole summary with just like one click wild. We can also click the dots here. We can share just this video. We can download it and use it. We can rename it so we can sort all our studio files. Just a really good update for Notebook LM. Just polishing it, bringing some new features to the foreground and making it a better 
product a better platform. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I really like Notebook LM. If you guys enjoy AI content, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Don't forget to like the video. If you enjoy, don't forget to like the video. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. Videos, news, and stories to share. Thousands are waiting in the home right there. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free. Just come and see at FranklinAI.com where you're meant to be.